tear gas being fired once again in Tahrir Square. But the crowd is now relatively small. Even at the height of the protests, after President Morsi granted himself new wide-ranging powers, by recent Egyptian standards, the violence was at a low level. The presidential decrees have caused uproar among many in the political class. But the greater challenges for President Morsi may well come in the near future from a different part of Egyptian society. Uh, especially if you go to the uh, squatter settlement, the countryside, people who voted for him, uh, they began to feel alien, you know, uh, uh, disillusioned. Uh, they thought things would be much better and that uh, socio-economically prices would go down. Now what they are getting is that ta more taxation uh, subsidies are being lifted. When you come to a market like this in the centre of Cairo, it's clear there is a great deal of anger and discontent. But people here will tell you that President Morse's recent decrees are not their biggest concern. They're suffering because of the poor state of the economy, mass unemployment and rising food prices. And many do blame the president. In a coffee shop, we spoke to Mahmoud Hassanin, 54, married with five children and out of work for five months. I'm selling the furniture of my house to be able to feed my children. We want to have a decent living and we want things to move forward. Salah Abdul Hamid and his father before him have had this bakery shop for 80 years, but now he tells me the future is uncertain. The people are very tired. The prices of bread have increased and customers can't afford to buy it. Unemployment has spread as well. Prices have increased and the government is not capable of doing anything about it. Everyone we spoke to told us they're struggling to cope. Patience is wearing thin. The basics of life here, as everywhere, are bread and fuel. And soon in this congested city, the price of gasoline looks likely to rise dramatically. The International Monetary Fund wants fuel subsidies cut as a condition for a new $4.8 billion loan. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Cairo.